Hi, welcome to the boardshop.co.uk surfboard review. Today we're looking at new collaboration from Pukas and the legend that is Chris Christensen. Chris Christensen, yeah, I'll say that better later. Um, the Pegaso, a descendant of the Chris Fish, his famous fish model under his own brand. And he's now got together with Pukas um, to produce a couple of boards. This board, the Picasso, and the Water Lion, which have developed from his love for the Mundakari type waves that are around the southwest of France and northern Spain. So um, <coughs> we surfed this this morning um, in waist plus high waves, uh, light offshore, very clean, not a lot of power to it, but good to just get out and surf it and see what it felt like. So. We'll spin around the board first. You can see it's pretty fishy in its um, layout and its volume layout. There's plenty of meat through the front half of the board here, but the nose is quite pulled in. Um, and that gives you paddle power, uh, wave catching ability, but it, because it's pulled in, it means the nose doesn't kind of catch on takeoff and it'll deal with steeper hollow waves much better than um, a traditional more flat retro type fish. As you go into the tail, proper fish tail, but with that little wing in it to loosen it up just off the back of the fins, literally where my finger is there, that's the back of the fin box, and that's where the little wing kicks in. Um, again, loosens it up, overcomes some of that width and volume of the tail to keep it manoeuvrable and lively. <coughs> um, so it comes on from the Chris Fish, a descendant of that board, but it's definitely more performancey. Uh, it's kind of replacing a performance hybrid, if you like. Um, think about the Firewire Machado Seaside, it's in that kind of ilk. It's got that kind of fish glide and cruise, but it's got more performance, and with that bit straighter rail line, more hold, more drive, more speed, so it can deal with bigger, hollower, punchier waves better than a more kind of bowed out traditional retro fish would. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a super popular model. And I think with Pukas and Christensen, there will be more collaborations coming for going forward because his boards, the Picasso and the waterline that he's done, really suit our European waves. Um, Fin-wise, obviously only a twin. It worked really well with this kind of uh, more upright Aquila fin that Futures do. The board's only going to be available in Futures because he prefers Futures, so who are we to argue? Um, Size-wise, volume-wise, this is the 510 we rode this morning. 33.8 litres, I think. <clears throat> and same with that Machado fish and the Machado Go fish. Don't be afraid of a bit of volume. Um, you've got that bit of length in it, but the volume helps with the paddle in. And the way the board's set up, the way the rail pairs down and hardens up, and with that little wing, it completely kind of overcomes what you might think would be too much volume. Um, through the bottom, there's a double concave. Again, like the Machado board, there's almost this kind of a little spine there <coughs> as you go through to, into the double concave. And that generates speed, gives you lift. If you remember the old like firewire sweet potato and stuff with a huge spine on it, it's really effective at keeping the board driving and giving it speed. So who's going to surf it? Well, you're going to use it as a complement to your small wave board, maybe to sit under your more high performance short board. But it certainly covers all that mid ground on, on the Pukas website, it says one foot to five foot, but in reality, it's not gonna go very well in weak one foot surf. It needs to be waist high plus with a little bit of shape and a little bit of punch to it. Top end wise, <laughs> I reckon a good surfer could surf this in serious hollow Indo punchy waves, like way overhead, um, probably double overhead. Um, it's got the credentials, the rail line, the hold in the rail and the drive, that when you feel it, it feels really secure. Um, it doesn't go rail to rail quite as uh, easily as a retro, a big flat retro fish would be, but that's because it's designed for better waves, basically. It's not designed to make the most of absolute slop, so don't make the mistake that it's a groveler, because it isn't. Um, but there it is, the Pegaso uh, from Chris Christensen and Pukas, solid construction from the boys down there in Spain, and great design and layout from Christensen. Um, <coughs> if you've got that space in your quiver, get one.